Hey everyone, today I have a comparison video of the three pudgy pig figures. Now on the uh, far left, right here, we have the newest figure from Super 7, a uh, reaction figures line. Then we have the pop figure there, and then right here is the original Bandai figure. So, uh, let's start. Okay, first up we have the Bandai figure. This is the original, like I... Yeah, very first Pudgy Pig. I don't think there were any other original Pudgy Pigs, which is odd, considering how popular he, he was. So anyway, the figure is a... it's a pretty nice figure. It's very accurate to the show, how he, how he appeared. Uh, let's see. He has an action feature. You move the back of this uh, thing on his head, and the mouth opens up. And the back of his helmet pops open. There's a little compartment on his back. Leading from his mouth. Uh, let's see, he has a couple points of articulation. Uh, shoulder? I guess these are shoulders. Whoops. Uh, hands on swivels and uh, leg joints there. So anyway, uh, the mouth opening thing. He originally came with these little cardboard circles with pictures of food on them. And the idea was you put them in his mouth. Like, yeah, you just toss them, try to catch them in his mouth, I guess. Just like in the show. Yeah, uh, kind of a weird little thing, but anyway, it was a it's a really nice figure. I, I really like this one. So let's go over the next one. And right here we have the pop figure. It's a very nice little figure, and it's uh, like a pop that really works for the character. Like since, like a lot of pops, they, they have big heads, beady black eyes, and stubby arms and legs. And that's Pudgy Pig. So the pop works very well for him. And interestingly, he comes with uh, these a little uh, knife and fork. Now in the show, let's see, when Finster first gets Pudgy Pig out of the Monstermatic, that's when he has a big knife and fork, but then after that, they don't show up ever again, I don't think. Maybe, I'm mis Maybe he has them in the Japanese version, I can't remember, but anyway. It's very nice that they're included. They don't come out of his hands. Uh, there's no movement anywhere. His legs don't move, his... Arms don't move, he's just a figurine, nothing moves, but he's a very nice little figure. Let's see, pretty... So yeah, just as a little figurine, he works fine. Pretty accurate to the show. Not really anything major to point out with him. And last up, here's the Super 7 Pudgy Pig. Now, like the pop figure, he comes with his uh, knife and fork. This time, uh, they are removable. I'm not going to remove them, since they're pretty hard to squeeze into his uh, very tightly clenched hands. But I did check, and you can actually fit them in the hands of the Bandai figure, and they look pretty nice. So anyway, let's talk about this figure. Um, he looks pretty good, especially like from the side, from the back. Head on, though, yeah, he... Not the best-looking figure. <laughs> The nose isn't quite right, it looks a lot different. Oh, and also, he has uh, brown teeth, if you notice in there. Yeah, brown teeth. <laughs> the eyes are kind of weird. Like, I looked at a bunch of uh, reference pictures of Pudgy Pig before doing this video, and I think what the idea was with this one was to make it match the American footage that was in Power Rangers when the suit was... Uh, kind of falling apart. It wasn't in the best of shape anymore by the time it was uh, brought over here. And so, like, the mouth being so open and full of that, like, purple stuff, very accurate to uh, how it looks in the American footage. Same with, like, the face being a little more droopy than the other figures. But, yeah, anyway, it's still a really nice figure. I really like the box art that it came with. Eh, there it is. Very, very cool artwork. I had to be really careful to cut this guy out of the packaging so I wouldn't damage uh, the picture, because I, I like the picture. I want to put that in a binder somewhere, maybe. So anyway, yeah, there's a uh, the couple of Pudgy Pig figures that we've gotten over the years. I think this is uh, it for the Pudgy Pig figures. Maybe there's like a couple more obscure ones. Like I don't know if maybe there was a figurine or two of them somewhere along the lines, but... As far as I know, these are the three Pudgy Pigs we got, and pretty consistently, he's gotten decent figures. I'm looking forward to, in the future, maybe Hasbro will do a Lightning Collection Pudgy Pig 
That'll be really cool. I've heard that uh, we're going to be getting an Eye Guy figure and maybe Prontus Head in the future for our next, like, deluxe monster figures. So, yeah, something to look forward to. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed this. See ya.